And today, the Pinellas County School Board is meeting up to begin the process of selecting the next superintendent. Current superintendent Michael Grego announced he's going to be retiring at the end of this school year. So ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott joining us live from district headquarters this morning, breaking down what the school board's going to be looking into for its next leader. Good morning, Larissa. Hey, good morning, James. Michael Grego has led the Pinellas County School District for the past 10 years, and now the school board is trying to find his replacement before the school year is over. I see an opportunity to redefine and reimagine public education. I see public education changing in a way it delivers its uh, its curriculum. Big changes are to come to Pinellas County Schools as the district starts the process of selecting a new leader. The school board will now move forward with figuring out how to find that person. At today's workshop, board members are set to discuss what to consider when choosing a new superintendent. They'll talk about the logistics of the search, like how applicants will be screened and vetted, how finalists will be selected, the process for interviews and public events, and parameters for negotiating with a successful candidate, including salary and benefits. The school board plans to spend the next two months gathering community feedback. Leaders want to give the community opportunities to participate in the search and give meaningful feedback, possibly with surveys, meetings, and creating a citizen screening committee. We sat down with outgoing superintendent Michael Grego earlier this month. He says now is the right time to step down. And people have asked me, you know, was it the pandemic that really drove you over to the top? And my answer is absolutely no. My answer is that in, in this work, in the public education, we experienced everything from recessions, we experiencing the housing boom, we experienced 9-11, we experienced we experience so many things. We experience hurricanes. <laughs> Grego says the graduation rate is at the highest of any large district in Florida and the achievement gap is shrinking. Our African American graduation rate went from 56%, now it's at 86%. A big goal for the next person will be continuing to create equal opportunities for all students. The incoming superintendent will also need to focus on teacher recruitment. The Pinellas Classroom Teachers Union says incentivizing educators to stay should be a top priority. Teaching is one of the most important professions there is and we need when we get good people we want them to stay here in Pinellas. We'll do a great job of, of finding that next person and we certainly will hold that person accountable too. I, I will too. <laughs> Grego's last day will be July 1st, and the school board hopes to have a final candidate selected by June. We will, of course, continue to keep you updated in this process and what happens at today's meeting on ABCActionNews.com. I'm live in Pinellas County this morning. Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.